Alright, so in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a manipulated GIF like the one you might have seen me make on either um, my graphic shop or in my stories. So obviously when you open Photoshop you get this, please ignore all my open graphics, I was making things before this. Um, and the product of today is going to be this. So we want to create a new document and then it want, you want it to be custom, you want to put your own dimensions in. Uh, I've got mine already loaded and saved from an earlier one I made of this, which you just saw. So I'm going to set to pixels. You're welcome to use my dimensions. Um, I'm making the intro GIF, so it tends to be a bit chunkier. But um, that's there if you want them. I set my background to black because I think it looks nicer. But do what you want. I don't mind. Um, and then you want to create it. And then it brings up your base, which w the base which we're going to use to create your blended GIF. Right, because it's a GIF we're working with to make this, obviously, to manipulate it, we need to work with um, a frame animation. So for this, we're going to need a timeline. Mine automatically opens up when I open Photoshop because I've added it. But if you don't, just go up to your little search icon, you type it in, and it will show you how to add it. It will let you add it. When you've done that, this will appear, and you want to create a frame animation. This brings up your first frame. Now, I set my frames to about, I have about 30 frames in my intro GIFs, just how I do it, I don't really have a particular reason. Um, some GIFs will be longer than 30 frames, some will be shorter, that's fine, we can edit and crop and cut as we go. So I'm going to just use this button here to add another frame, and I'm going to keep going until I get to 30. When I've got my 30 frames, I'm going to open my other GIFs, which I have saved. So obviously, as I said, what you'll need for this is um, access to GIFs. So you should have your GIFs already downloaded onto your laptop, which you want to use. I will be using these two of the amazing uh, Captain Marvel because I'm making an intro GIF for Jetpack Blues. Um, once you've done that, you're going to want to select all your frames. But I do recommend checking in advance what both GIFs the amount of frames each GIF have. So, because when you come over here, I've only got 27 on this, that's fine, it doesn't matter. What we'll do is we'll go back to our base and we'll just delete the extra frames which we don't need. And then obviously it's now 27 frames, that's fine. So, I'll just select the first 27 frames in this GIF, which you can do by selecting the first frame, scrolling to where you need to go, press shift, and then press the 27th one and it will select them all. Then you want to copy your frames, which appears in this little drop down menu here. And then you want to go back to your base. You want to make sure you've got your first GIF and then your first frame, apologies. And then select them all again. And this time click the drop down menu and press paste frames. And we want to paste our frames over the selection. This just brings it up on top of our base. Now we want to enlarge the GIF to fit, fit the base. So for this, we're going to need to obviously. Um, adjust the positioning. Make sure your aspect ratio is locked so that when you enlarge your GIF the proportions and dimensions don't go a bit wonky. Um, you don't need to always drag it right in. You don't need to have it always you know on the side in the middle. Just pop it where you want it. Now I know where I want my positioning to go because I know the other GIF is a bit further away. So I'm going to pop it about here and then click my ticks. I'm happy with that. And then what you want to do is because you've still got all your layers selected in your little box over here you want to make a folder with it in and I'll explain the relevance of the folder in a minute so then go back to your second GIF and you want to select 27 frames you want to copy them and just repeat the process Now, as you can see, my uh, GIFs look a bit more even now because this one's a bit further over than that one was. Um, it's fine that it overlays, so already these GIFs will play at the same time over one another, but we are now going to blend them. This is where the significance of the folders come in, because we want to edit and erase parts of the GIF in every frame, in every layer, which means we need them grouped together. So once you've got your groups, and hopefully your GIFs will overlay, overlap, apologies, because they need to overlap to be able to blend them together. So once you've got your groups, 
you add a vector mask, which is this one down here, which I'm hovering over, and it will add it onto your folder. Don't worry if it looks like it's selecting the whole base, it's not. From there, we grab our paintbrush. Um, make sure your opacity is at 100, make sure your mode's normal, and then you want a soft round brush, you want your hardness at zero, and you want a relatively high amount of pixels in your brush. Um, it just it just blends smoother, it's just a smoother blend, and obviously you can play around with hardness, with size, I just find this works best best for me, so that's what I'm going to do. And then from there you just, you just, as you can see, just rub away at your GIF. Um, this will just take parts of the other GIF away, which you have the vector mask on, and help the two blend together. Obviously now this is where I say with playing around with opacity, because now you've erased a load of it, it doesn't blend that well. So if I go back a bit, just erase, I find the edges, and then drop down the opacity to a lower one, and just play around with it, get it to blend, and then if you find you've gone a bit far, go to divide, and you can add parts of your GIF back. But obviously, since this is black, it doesn't really um, erase very well, so I'm just going to try and fix the problem I created for myself here. That's fine. Hopefully your GIFs will have uh, similar backgrounds because this is quite difficult and I wouldn't recommend using very colourful uh, GIFs with lots of lights in until you, you really feel very comfortable with manipulating GIFs just because it's a lot of hassle and it's not fun. So whilst I mess around with this, I hope you guys have a general clue of what I'm doing. And then when you're happy with that, you just want to press play and your GIFs will blend and play over one another. And actually that's blended quite well considering how worried I was that it wasn't going to do it. Um, let me just turn up my brightness. So now that you've blended them together, you've got your mask, you've got your GIF, that's it really. That's all you need to do to create a simple manipulated GIF. I'm going to create a separate tutorial to do with adding text over the top and adding PSDs and other effects. But um, since this is really just helping you learn the basics of manipulating GIFs before we get a bit more complicated, I hope this has helped.